Hello, so today I thought I would show you what's in my pantry. Now, in my Dining on a Dime cookbook on page 18, it says what's in Tara's pantry. And I have a list here of everything that's in my pantry. Can you see that? There, the lights are kind of glaring. You can copy these, this, or this, these pages and take them to the grocery store if you want, but this gives you an idea of what I keep in my pantry. I'm gonna go through everything and show you what I have and what I don't have and what I usually have in here, but I need to order, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start at the top. Up there I have my bread machine, my cake mixes that I got for 30 cents after Halloween, and then over here I have cards over here that I have for Oh, I don't know. Just if I need jars for something. Pickles, whatever. Extra beans. So now, up here on the second shelf, this is the, and then I always put things least used at the very top and work my way down. So up here I have Mike's Mink Jelly, I have pumpkin, I have s'more stuff in that plastic bag hidden from the kids, mince meat, which I never used for Christmas, my Christmas dipping candy stuff, stuff like that. So now on this next shelf, I have all my fruits on the left. And then I have all my vegetables and my spaghetti sauces. And then on the right, I have all of my soups. Then on this shelf, this is our most frequently used shelf. And so I don't know why, because I have some things on here now that I'm looking at it through the camera that I really need to get rid of. So here we have pudding mixes and jellos. Pinto beans, Emily's lentil stuff. Oops, well that's not good. And then over here I have a ton of macaroni and cheese, but we don't eat macaroni and cheese. So I got all of that for free from a family member who wasn't eating it. And I'm like, we, we eat it like a box a month. And I have probably 80 more boxes downstairs. <laughs> So that's something that I don't really use and I need to get that out of here now that I'm looking at it. But there's Jack's syrup, he uses that every morning. Here I have all of Dave's popcorn. Oops, I got my things mixed up and this is my rice cakes, BJ's extra coffee. Right here, I got these drink thingies for free. So those are Jack's now and then some cookies. And then over here I have all my crackers in a tub that I keep for crumbs falling out. And I have saltines, and right now I have Ritz type crackers. Those are the main two crackers that we normally keep. Okay, and then down here I have my cereals and my crackers. And then over here I don't normally have this pancake mix, but I got it for free when Quaker, when I thought Quaker had had a piece of uh, glass in my oatmeal and I complained about it and they sent me coupons for free stuff and that was it and even though it wasn't their fault they kindly said I could still use the coupons so I did and then down here I keep all of my sugar I got sugar on sale last November it was like 99 cents so I just bought a bunch and my flour and then over here is a bunch of dried hash browns dried apples and then I have my extra syrup and my vinegars all in there. So I had a problem with my video that I shot. So I'm doing this a couple days later, but that is a tour of my pantry. Now I am gonna get rid of the macaroni out here. We don't eat it, but once a month or so, get rid of some of the spaghetti. I just have too much. We're not gonna eat it that fast. And I have, if you'll notice, already added some ramen noodles, the kids love those, and lots of Cheerios. They had a sale a couple days ago, so I picked up about mm, six or eight boxes of Cheerios. So they were like a dollar thirty eight and we dollar thirty each and we love Cheerios because they're actually gluten free. They're easy, so anyway that's a tour of my pantry. We could probably eat out of here for two or three months at least if we just ate out of the pantry. And 
I like to keep it full and I like to just eat from the pantry. So I don't make meals around what I feel like eating today. I make meals around what's in the pantry and freezer and fridge and what do I need to use up and what do I have on hand. So check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook and visit us at Living on a Dime. Please give us a thumbs up, share, likes, and we will see you guys on the next video.